in today's video, this here is just another confirmation that when it comes to dust buckets, they bring drama, they bring trauma, sometimes death, the financial implications, there is too much dust in the nation. A black woman told me, I never forget, she said, you can, and it doesn't apply to all black men, but she said, you can mess with a black man's mama. You can mess with his baby mama. You can mess with his kids, but don't mess with his car. I guess that's true, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this Dusty. Why is he on the screen? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. This chick done hit my ride. This is the only, only investment I got. I don't own nothing. But rent not went up three dollars and I can't barely afford that. The mammy's getting tired of me. Ain't nobody trying to help me. And you're going to sit up here and hit my ride? Forget the insurance. This is my most valuable asset. When you hit my ride, oh hell, you might die. Check it out for use. But this is really sad. Unbelievable. Said driver ran Crazy. over a woman at least three times Lord. in Elizabeth, New Jersey. We the froze the video here just before the driver hit her. And all of this police say was over a fender bender. Crazy. Reporter Chris Jose joins the News 14 today. He is live in Elizabeth with new reaction from a witness. Chris. And Dave, this all happened here on Salem Avenue. Important to note that this is a one-way street. Neighbors tell us the man was backing up to avoid a traffic jam at the light during the Tuesday morning rush hour. From there, neighbors say he was backing up and crashed into a woman's car right here in the intersection. Apparently, this upset the man so much that he followed her this way and she was running away. She took pictures just moments before. And then when she got plowed over, she landed right here in the yard. You can still see tire marks on the ground. Home surveillance video shows the moment a driver chased after a woman following a fender bender on Salem oh, Avenue Lord. in Elizabeth. We're freezing the video before Woo! the car hit the victim. Ran over her, ran over her again three times. Isaac asked us not to use his last name. His home camera captured the road rage attack around 8.30 Tuesday morning. How can you do it like this? It was a fender bender, that's all. This is Vincent Jean's mugshot from the Union County Jail. He's charged with several crimes, including first-degree attempted murder. Most of the video is too graphic to show. Seconds after the first hit, a school bus showed up. He's maybe 30, 40 feet, and she fell on the grass, and he ran over her. As he runs over her, the school bus came and blocked the driver here. He turned around and went right over her again. Oh Prosecutors God. say Jean sped away and critically injured the woman. Mm. Neighbors called 911. Isaac and his wife ran outside to she help. As my wife put the blanket on her to keep her warm, it was raining and the, the, the grass was wet. She told my wife, thank you. A few hours later, police say they found Jean sitting in his damaged SUV a few miles from the scene. Today, tire marks are still in the yard. He was deranged. I think he lost it. I think he went crazy. That's the only investment I got. Hit my ride. Somebody might die. A low performing man. Uh, hello, Dom Dom. There's a thing called insurance. Yeah. These dusties, highly emotional, highly dangerous. Tina knows to Tina Arnold. Where are you at? Tina, isn't your stance that these men are not harmful? They're being profiled for the gentle loving beings that they are. Girl, stop. When are... I'm just waiting to see when is some, maybe one of these female celebrities going to go ahead and advocate for the black women. The ones who are holding it down. Black women... Are really being abused these men in the community they make mockery of us and then they turn around and make a whole lot of money and and then they're hating us what if we didn't support them from day one to even get in the mainstream and then they take that same mockery and you go to mainstream and now everyone's laughing at us who's still sopping up mammy biscuits 
I don't care whether it's on a Versace plate, a plate from Whore Child, or a plate, a plastic plate from the 99 cent store. Are the Mammy Biscuits worth it? Where's your return? A fender bender. But see, this is a behavior of low performing men. Oh, yeah. Low performing men, not much to offer. They don't have anything, they don't control anything. They know they are inferior, and not it is not inferiority based on color of skin. You are inferior because your ass is dumb. The lack of of critical thinking skills. You don't think, you just do. Someone can hit <clears throat> one of my hit my vehicle today. And I'll say things like, you know, I've been called a friend. I'm like, oh my god, this girl must this lady must you know me to punch her out. I'm just joking, okay? Joking, duh. Uh, there's insurance. A thing called insurance. How do you get emotionally triggered like that? Because you are really, see, you are, your, your head ain't work. it's not working right. You're with this anger that goes like this here. Let's face it. Other things in your life are going wrong. Other things in your life are going wrong. And to be totally honest, you can't handle it. You can't handle it. And so you're mad. And the least little thing, somebody bump into you or look at you, you're ready to go off. I checked you, fool. This is crazy. Other things are going on wrong in your life. You can't handle it. You cannot face the challenges in your life you do not have the intelligence to sit down and say okay i am here in this situation i don't want to be here what can i do i've done that i'm like okay financially i need to do this i want to reach this goal what can i do not hard to figure out at all and when i reach those goals you see things differently Oh, yeah. It's like now. If I want something, I used to, oh, yeah, let's go to the Gucci store, my girlfriends. I got to go to Louis V. Let's go here. Da, da, da. I don't care. To, first of all, it's junk, and I've been having enough junk like that. Trust and believe. I'm looking at some junk now. Two Gs, and I've carried this for, what, maybe four or five times, and it's sitting up, sealing a Gucci bag. It's junk. It's a nice bag, but I'm like... And I've given them away so much stuff. That doesn't define me. Sure, I like fashion. It doesn't define me. I have bigger goals. And put more money into the Gucci store. That's not going to help me reach my financial goals. I tell people, I don't, I don't any extra money, it, it has to go to Wall Street or for a business. Thinking beyond that. Thinking beyond that. That's why I say it's junk. It may be nice junk, but it's still junk. It's not going to add any meaning to your life. You, you get older, you're going to start setting goals. This right here, he's definitely older than I am. I can tell you that. What, what are the goals? What, what are you working toward? What are you working toward financially? What, what are your goals? Does he have life insurance? I bet he doesn't. Probably stupid. I'm sure he probably has some cheering. If something happens to him today, this man, not that I'm wishing, even though he's stupid and violent, if something would have happened to him today, I wonder who would benefit. Heck, something happens to me. Somebody going to have a benefit. There's no lie. They don't know it. I'm an aunt of four. I live way below my means. And people have said things to me like, hey, you need, you know, do you. I might get too specific. <clears throat> I live way below my means. Uh, any one of those kids, something happens to me and don't do well, I'm going to ask to come back here and choke you out because it makes no sense. I've set things in place. If something happens, they'll, at minimum, you're going to have six figures in your pocket. Because I plan. I sacrificed. I'm like, oh, I want to do this here. And when people say, hey, you need to think about you. Those kids got their own life, and I, and I totally get it. 
and they're like, hey, you don't have any kids. You know, I, I know. I get it. I get it. But I plan that because I want to give somebody else a better opportunity. You, you understand? So being an honor for, that was my goal. I want to make sure something happens. They can at least have $100,000 poor kid if something happens to me mission freaking accomplished and i don't live fancy some people might think girl you ain't even got you don't even have twenty thousand dollars they can do whatever the hell they want to think but you can achieve those things through oh i don't know life insurance yeah you can doesn't have to be cash it can be term life it can be whole life you can achieve those things through that in case something happens A man like this here, you think he's thinking, of course he doesn't think on that level. So my point is, you have to sometimes sit down and say, okay, you know, what do you want? What can you do to achieve it? It ain't no guarantee you can at least try. I try. And more than likely, you're going to get somewhere. You may have some setbacks, but you're going to get somewhere. That person that left the comment, where you are today, you made an appointment to be there. She said it was Les Brown. I love that. Where you are today, and you know, it doesn't fit for every day, but you think about it overall. Where you are today, at some point, you made an appointment to be there. So dealing with Dusty's, having their children, and knowing you're going to be the one left holding the bag, so sad. You made an appointment. Now you're sitting up here. Oh my gosh, what, is, what am I going to do? You know, and that's sad. Sometimes you can handle it. The least little upset, you can't handle it. And yo, there you are. There you are with, with no help. Maybe we made an appointment to be there dealing with dust. That's why I say, de-dust. You, you must. It's not worth it, ladies. They're not worth your womb, honey. This here, this man being angry, committing this act, being an inferior, low-performing man, being an angry dust bucket. He did that, him, his being in jail, him sitting in a jail cell, he made an appointment to be there by being irrational, highly emotional, a dust bucket, losing control. Women have it harder, I think, than men because people say, oh, they can get all this help from the government. I don't think the dusties understand. Let's try <clears throat> raising children. Now, I've babysat. I'm an aunt, as you all know. But I haven't, like, you know, had a child. Even married, I just want to have kids. But I haven't raised kids day in, day out. But I know babysitting, that can be like, whoa, man, that is a chore. So imagine being a single parent and you have no help. And the child or children are your responsibility morning, noon, and night. Get up early. You don't just go to work. You got to get them off to school and get them dressed and get them fed in the homework. Then get them to school. Then you go to work, work your day, pick them up from school, go home and cook dinner and homework and clean. Wow, that's a lot. That is a heck of a lot. I, I've i never lived that, but it doesn't take rocket science to figure out that can be very challenging. So being a single mother and being able to hold it down Ladies, honey, hats off to you. Just my thinking about it and just that that's a heck of a lot. It's extremely challenging. That can be stressful. Maybe you want a spa day. Is there money for a spa day? What if a child needs something? Oh, they're sick. Gotta go to the school, pick them up, take off work. Uh-oh, you want to go ahead and get this career, a career change, management. Uh-oh, longer hours. I can't because you're a mom. You see what I mean? A whole nother ball game. But yet still, women seem to handle it. Some have more than one kid. The house is clean, the kids are clean, and they go to work every day. And guess what? They're not sitting up here shooting and running over people or still in person saying, oh my, well, I ain't in a spa day, so I'm mad. And I'm going to go over here and grab this girl's purse. Girl, you crazy. They deal with what reality is. They just make it work. So this right here, there's no excuse. I'm not trying to, there's no excuse. There's no excuse. This is a low performing man, and he was already mad before this little fender bender happened. You were mad about your life. And a person, you can say, hey, let's just sit down, try to strategize. I ain't gonna hear about all that. All I wanna hear is, give me 50 bucks right now and get me a drink, get my drink on. I wanna hear all that. Anyway, I'm losing my voice. 
<laughs> making fun of these dusties. Now, listen, let me know what you guys think. Feel free to come out, subscribe, and share them out.